everyone, so this is part one of a three-part series on how to create a mobile app with no code. Uh, we're going to actually be using uh, something called Bravo, which is going to take our Figma designs and turn them into native iOS and Android apps. So through the tutorial, we're going to be creating a COVID tracking app that kind of brings us through the basics and the foundation of Bravo and how to use it. Uh, I have the app completed. We're just going to walk through the different steps on how I actually went from start to finish when creating that app. All right, so to get started, we're gonna be using two softwares. The first one is gonna be our design software, Figma. And if you haven't heard of Figma before, it's a design software kind of like um, Adobe Illustrator, or if you use like XD from Adobe or Sketch. Um, it's a free software to start off with. They have paid programs, but that is gonna be the design software we're gonna be using to create this uh, no-code app. Now, the only reason we're using it is because the second app, Bravo, uh, which is what is going to convert our design to an actual native iOS or Android app, uh, as far as I know, only works with Figma. So that is why we're going to be using Figma. Um, but on the other end too, I do use Figma majority of the time for designs when it comes to apps and websites. Now, Bravo, that's going to be our main app and software that we're going to use that's going to turn our app design into an actual native app. Now what Bravo allows us to do is take our design file and import it to their website and software and it actually converts it to a working app that we can then later publish to an app store or the play store for Android. Now Bravo also has an uh, actual mobile app and it's called Bravo Vision. And what that's gonna allow us to do is actually preview and get to kind of see and feel what our app is gonna look like before we actually finalize the publish for the app. So we're gonna take a look at that later on and then we can kind of see how Bravo takes design and it makes it to a working app. But we're gonna get started in Figma first. So we're gonna take a look at our design and then we'll kind of go from there and I'll show you how to use Bravo to make it a working app. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna look at Figma first. So I'm gonna enlarge my Figma file just a bit here. I'll bring that in so you folks can see. So we're gonna be designing in Figma first and how Bravo works is we're gonna take a, again, a Figma design and convert that into a working app. So I have my one of my screens of my app here. Uh, this is a, again gonna be a COVID tracker app. Um, and it's gonna show us the main page, the total number of positive cases and the total death count here in the US. Now, uh, we're gonna have a menu bar and everything, but we're not gonna go through it in this part of the tutorial. Uh, I'm probably gonna add that into either the second or third part. Um, I just kind of want to go over how Bravo knows how to actually build the site from our designs. So what you'll see here in the main screen if I open up the different layers is I have these frames here and what they are um, going to be is how we're going to separate the apps and how we stack them is how Bravo is going to build them um, when it comes to actually making the app. So. I have, it's kind of messed up here. I'm gonna reorganize this real quick. But on top here, I have my hero, which is kind of my main image here with my title, my menu button, some information, and a view symptoms button. Uh, then I have the uh, title for the total right here. And then I have the two stats, which are gonna be the positive and deaths right there. Now you're gonna notice that the way I named my frames, I have brackets and within that, I have something, uh, it says container. Now the way Bravo works is it looks for these brackets or these tags and that's how Bravo knows what to do with that frame or that element of your design. So a lot of it when it comes to creating an app with Bravo is gonna be using the correct tag and um, creating containers to stack upon each other. So a container is a tag that Bravo has and they're gonna have, your app is gonna be built 
of these containers, made out of these containers. And what you have to do is, or what you're gonna wanna make sure you do is, these containers have to be stacked one on top of each other, or side by side. Uh, and the reason for that is, in your design, it may look completely normal, uh, but if we were to have, say, no spacing here, and we were to drag that frame just to the top of the text, uh, when we then later preview the app in Bravo Vision or the actual app itself, Bravo is actually going to stack those two frames on top of each other. It's not going to take into consideration the, um, the space that we left. So. Think of it as like Lego blocks. Uh, you're gonna have to stack containers one on top of each other or next to each other. Basically, they have to be touching. Now, within those containers, uh, you can have different tags depending on what features you wanna use from Bravo. So if I open up the Bravo website here. Now, if you wanna take a closer look into um, how to implement these different tags. Uh, Bravo does have a, where is it, a Learn Center, I believe. Yeah, they have it in um, Notion. But you can kind of come into here, go to the master list of all the tags, and it's gonna pull up every tag that they have. And they have tutorials on how to use it, or they have guides on how to implement it into your app. So again, these tags and these containers are gonna be the foundation and the fundamental things that you're gonna to need to know in order to turn your Figma design uh, into an actual working app. So once you have your app designed, and normally what I like to do is, I'm um, gonna pull it up real quick here, is um, I'll have something and I'll actually go ahead and design the app out first uh, before you know actually um, framing it and adding the containers. Uh, I just find it a little easier to do. Um, so I'm just gonna I would design out the app the same color there. Um, and once I have it designed, then I'll actually wrap everything within a frame and oops, and then label the containers. So uh, it's kind of the same, but I would design it out just like you normally would a design in Figma. And once I'm done, I will actually then take my frame and then frame each one of the sections that I want. So I'll frame each section, make sure that, you know, they're again stacked one on top of each other and just like that. Oop, that's not um, so yeah, and then once you're done framing everything, again, using the tags, very important. So I would just put container there and so forth on all of those frames I created. And you're gonna wanna do that for basically each page in your app. I'm gonna delete this, and then we're gonna actually now take a look on how we can import our file into Bravo. So I'm gonna open up the Bravo website. Um, of course, if you don't have an account with Bravo, go ahead, you can get started. It's free to sign up and um, do that first and then you should end up at a dashboard like this. Now I'm going to delete this so that we can walk through on how to actually import it. So once you're here on your dashboard, you're going to want to make sure you're in projects in the top left and we're going to have to import a Figma file. Now in order to import it, if we click on that, we're going to need the link to our Figma file. So we're gonna go back into Figma and in the top right, if we hit share, uh, we can copy the link and then go back to the Bravo website and just paste that link right in there and we can hit import. Now, once it uploads everything, uh, we should now see our one page of our design right here and in our projects, we will now have our project right on 
here. So now that we have it actually imported into Figma, we can use the Bravo Vision app and we can actually take a look and see what this app is gonna look like on our mobile device. All right, so now that we finished our design, we went through um, putting in the correct containers and tags and we imported our file into Bravo, uh, we should now actually be able to view the project that we imported on the Bravo Vision app. So like I was saying before, the Bravo Vision app is an app you can download from the app store that allows us to kind of preview and see what our app is gonna look and feel like before we finalize everything. Uh, I should have a recording of my screen somewhere here on the side. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Bravo Vision app right now. And what we should see is our projects that we have within Bravo. Now I have our uh, app that we just created. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And it's gonna take a little bit for uh, it to load up. But once it does, we should see our design right there on the screen. So I have mine right there. And you see that's just um, the same design that we have. Uh, right now, of course, we're not gonna have, like I was saying before, any of the data showing up. It's just gonna say zero. They're placeholders for now. But in my next video, I'm gonna go over how we're gonna actually kind of connect this design to a database and how we can actually grab data and manipulate or change what appears on our app. So I hope you folks enjoyed part one of my intro to using Bravo to create an app with no code. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, let me know in the comments how you like this tutorial. If you like how I did it, I'm gonna kind of continue this format. If not, let me know what you would like changed or if uh, I should do things differently. Just let me know in the comments. And uh, until the next one, I'll see you folks next week.